it's warm out there. 60 bucks for half a tank. Sweet. Um, it's pretty late in the evening actually, y'all. But I'm headed a couple hours out in the hopes that I can catch myself a big old thunderstorm this evening. Oh, well, that camera is shaking pretty good. We'll try to hold that a little bit steady. I got that rough idle. But, when the phone ring, set when it's big bro with the OGs, not a people. Chill out, Cal. You don't need to yell at me like that. All right, we're gonna hit the road uh, and try to get there before dark. We should get there just before dark, I believe. But we'll see what happens tonight. There's no guarantee these storms are gonna hit, but we'll see if we can make this happen. So stay tuned, y'all. All right, y'all, well, we've made it. The sun is going down behind me. The sunset's actually really beautiful right now. I'm gonna grab a cold one. We're gonna get the fire going, and the fire pit's already full of kindling, so somebody left me some good wood. Well, the fire's going. I'm guessing you guys probably can't even see that sunset right now. It looks pretty nice over there, but once I zoom all the way out, it's hard to see. And it's kind of got covered up by the clouds, but got some brain eraser here from the gas station. <laughs> We're gonna give this a shot. I haven't had this in quite a while, but it's 50 cents. Can't beat that. Well, y'all, I'm sitting here by the fire, uh, enjoying a stogie, and I'm already seeing flashes of lightning, and I've already heard some thunder roll off in the distance. I don't know how long this campfire is going to last, but on a side note, I am a complete idiot, as per usual, and I forgot that I have a dentist appointment at 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. So I have to get up at 5 o'clock in the morning tomorrow, jam home, get showered, changed, etc., and then drive probably about a half an hour to my dentist appointment. So that kind of sucks. Uh, but it is what it is. I just had a reminder 
pop up on my phone. Completely forgot I had a dentist appointment tomorrow, but I don't want my fake tooth to fall off again like it's done before. So I'm just gonna have to get up early and hit it. But yeah, I've been just watching the clouds over there. Uh, they've completely covered up the sunset. Oh, and I just saw another small flash of lightning. It's hard to kind of see because this camera adjusts everything, but you can see the line right there. And inside of that, I've already seen some lightning. The wind just picked up a bit. And the storms are rolling in. Well, the rain has just started. Let me get this off. Turn some lights on in here. Most of the storm has been pretty far off in the distance, but it has started raining. So, hop in here, make sure these windows are shut. Oh, it's about 70 degrees in here. I'm gonna go ahead and pop the back window open. I usually use my portable saw here it's a Fisker saw but allows you to get some airflow going through this windows open up front here I think we're gonna make something to eat I've actually got to get to bed at a reasonable time this evening since I have to go to the dang dentist in the morning I was dumb that I didn't check that but story of my life I suppose so let's get into this So, I'm gonna do, let's make myself some ramen. I guess I could have just cooked it in this pan instead of heating the water up in there, but so be it, right? But instead of just regular, ordinary ramen, we're gonna throw some sardines on it. <laughs> so I've got some Beach Cliff sardines and Louisiana hot sauce. I like these things. Uh, and on top of that, we're actually gonna put a little bit of hot sauce. Let me get this hot sauce out. Actually, I've got two sauces I'm gonna use. So I've got some leftover chili sauce here that we'll put on, we'll put a dab of that in there. And then I grab the hot sauce one of the bottles of hot sauce that I opened in the last live stream. This is Elijah's Habanero Handcrafted Pineapple Mango Hot Sauce, and this has a great flavor. And since the sardines are also in hot sauce, it's gonna little, be a little bit spicy, I think. But we'll go ahead and drop our noodles in here. And we're gonna cook it with some of this chili sauce on it. Just a dab will do you right. Give that water a little bit of spice. 
What's this looking like? Ooh, that's boiling hard. Perfect amount of agua. Set that big thing off to the side. Here we go. Ooh, I forgot my. I forgot my spork. It's raining pretty good out there. Is the is it blowing in here? A little bit. We've got some spicy chili sauce on there. We need all those. The stragglers in the bag there. We've got our chili favored packet. We're gonna put that on the whole thing right there. pretty warm. Let's go ahead and pop these sardines open here. You would not want to spill it. How's that look y'all? I like sardines. We're just gonna dump this whole thing on here. It's hot sauce and all. Ooh. Dirty old fish cakes. It smells wonderful in here right now. Got our dirty old pack of sardines in there. And our nice hot ramen. And I just got it on my pants. Ooh. It's like a fish stew. It smells wonderful. And on top of this, we're just gonna sprinkle a little bit of this hot sauce on there. Just spicy, but man, this stuff is good. A little bit of mango, mango on our sardines. It's gonna be spicy. There we go. This stuff is really tasty. Thank you for sending that in. And here we have it dirty old fish soup mm. let's get a little bit of that on there got a nice big sardine in our bite here check that out a little fishy guy since I can't catfish to save my life and cook them up I guess That's got a kick to it. It's great though. I know a lot of people won't try sardines just because of the way they look or miss, maybe because of the way they smell. But man, they're great. And these are so cheap. And these are so cheap. Every now and again, you can treat yourself to some spicy sardine ramen. I tell you what, that's really good. This is the first time I've ever put sardines in ramen. It's not going to be the last time I do it. The only thing that can make this better was if you drained it out and slapped it all in a tortilla. That's great. That is great. I can't really taste the chili sauce too much, but everything is, I got chili, ramen, chili sauce, sardines in Louisiana hot sauce, and pineapple mango habanero hot sauce. It has got some kick to it. Ah, oh, yeah. That big 
hunk of sardine. Hunk of hunk of sardine right there. Sardines are something that I always keep in here. Um, in my box. I always have sardines. I always have ramen. I always have like a a jar of peanuts. What else do I always have in there? I don't know exactly what else have I, I have in there right now, but why don't we take a look in the box before we finish off our fish ramen there. Okay. Let's just pop this guy open and take a look at it. So there's my food crate. Uh, we've got like a backpacker meal. This was sent into the channel. I have not eaten this yet. I've got a little Rubbermaid tote, a little Rubbermaid Tupperware thing here that has a couple packets of uh, oatmeal in it. You can see a bottle of Pam right there, which shouldn't be laying over, but it is. I have some more ramen here. Different package, but I'm a sucker for the cheese soups also. Uh, I've got some shore lunch in here that has not been used because once again I suck at catching fish. I've got a bunch of different coffee, instant coffee, that's in this box here. Uh, a little bag of chips, some spicy Cheetos. I've got some Cinnamon Toast Crunch breakfast bars. I ate these, I think, in the last camping video. I had some of these for breakfast. We've got our jar of peanuts that I said I carry. We've got a Star Kissed lunch to go. So with this, you get tuna and some crackers and like relish and stuff. Um, I've got another full bottle of oil here case I need that and this is one I just refill all the time because it's small enough to carry with me so I'll refill it off the bigger pack bigger bottles at home got another thing of oatmeal here hey that's the same brand of the waffle mix I think Kodiak cakes pretty sure and then like I said I've always got sardines keep these things on me I've got a bunch of the hot ones I think I got another flavor in here yep I've got a couple different ones um, so these are sardines and soybean oil with hot green chilies. Once again with the spice. And then I've got some in mustard sauce and these are really good too. But these are great. And they're super cheap. I think these are less than $2 a piece. So I'm not exactly sure what my dinner cost me there. But I would say it was probably less than $3. And it's really good. And it hits you right in the back of the throat with a little bit of spice. <clears throat> Finish up this last little bit. There we go. Ah. And all I'm going to do is wipe this thing out. There's not a whole lot of cleanup that goes with this. And I've got a nice warm lump in my belly. Once again, I am surprised how good the sardines tasted on there. And I'm surprised at myself that I've never done this before. But uh, great meal. Honestly, great meal. Really, really satisfied with that one. And it's raining and storming out there. And I gotta get up at five o'clock in the morning. Not looking forward to that one, but I'm gonna get this cleaned up. I'm gonna watch myself a movie before I go to bed. So stay tuned, y'all. All right, I tossed some shorts on. It's kind of warm in here. All right, I'm gonna watch something on Amazon Prime. It's a newer movie called Addicted to Fresno. Uh, and it looks pretty funny. It's got some good actors in it. Uh, Judy Greer, Natasha Leone, Malcolm Barrett. Uh, 
Aubrey Plaza. Aubrey Plaza is a great actor. I love her attitude in movies. So we're going to check this out. Uh, came out, well, I guess it's not a brand new movie. Came out in 2015. It's called Addicted to Fresno. And this comedy follows the lives of two codependent sisters, a lesbian and a sex addict who work as hotel maids in Fresno. When one accidentally kills a guest at the hotel, their lives permanently change as they rush to stage a cover up. So I feel like this should be a pretty funny movie for tonight. Get out of here, bug. You got a bug in here. Whatever you do, they'll still be there. Well, that was never our story. Our story is about how sisters can sink each other. Really sink each other. Oh, five o'clock came really fast. Yeah, y'all, five o'clock in the morning came fast. It's not even light outside yet. I thought it would be light out by now. But I, uh, I gotta hit the road and start hauling. But haul booty cheeks home. So, all right, I got all my junk. Get out of here, bug. Oh, I'm gonna need my keys. Go away, moth. Go away, moth. There's pressure. Grab the flashlight. It's... Cannot see. We will use my phone. Are we ready to go? Are we ready to go? No. Are we gonna go? I guess. <laughs> Oh, where's my other camera? Don't drop it. You guys now come with me. Where are we at? Uh, bugs are getting me. Okay. Where's the dang sun? Oh, oh, I see it. It's getting light. Way over there. You can't see it with this camera. Need that with me. Oh. Go away, bugs. Okay. Oh, they're on me. <laughs> Go away, bugs. Dang. There are freaking bugs everywhere in here. No. See them, they're everywhere. 
see anything outside. Turn on my brats. Well, the sun's coming up. Not very fast, but it's coming. Adventure. I'll see you in a bit. I don't know 